the hate army troll. It's the hate army, Big bro. Hate, hate, army. hate army. That guy. Shout out hate to army. hate. Shout out for Good hate. Goodbye to the hate army. Shout out Shout to out hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for hate. Shout out to hate. Garbage. It's uh, literally three, four garbage players in a row tonight. Here we go. Can't do anything. He gets a three combo. Can't do anything here. Can't get out. Can't jump. Can't what? parry your block. Mash kick, mash punch, get out of my combo. Think about that. Mash punch, get out of everything. Yeah, this is just trash. I'm really upset tonight. I'm getting nowhere with Blanca because this trash gameplay is beating me because it's fucking too overpowered. This is not someone outplaying me in any way. Mash. Oh, but he was ready for drive impact. Of course. He can't block. I couldn't block. I wouldn't block. He gets free combo. Didn't earn the hit once again. Level 3 combo off of every button. I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing there trying to block and every button input he presses hits me. Yeah, this is trash. Right now, I'm really upset. Like, I, I feel like I wasted my time coming early tonight. Because I just played for, what, 25 minutes? That was, every match was a waste of my time. Every match. Every match was insanely lucky, high-level, mashing bullshit. Or my moves don't come out. One or the other. Why didn't he block anything in the corner there? I was holding back. So you fucking tell me what's going on right now with this fucking joystick that I spent 300 fucking dollars on. That it's not even blo blocking basic stuff and it's dropping tons of moves. Because I'd love to fucking know what's actually going on. Because it's pissing me the fuck off right now. I need to relax now because I'm upset. Because that was a waste of a half an hour of my fucking time. And yours too. It really was. It's been a waste of everyone's time right now. Alright, well thank you for a $5 tip. From someone who wants salt tonight. Well, good for you. Can't block! Oh my god, again! That's it, that's game! Trash, he never should have won a single round. Literally should have not had a single fucking round. Unbelievable. Playing like, playing like shit, playing modern Honda in lag, Getting away with insane bullshit. <laughs> it's not even skillful at all in any way. Not even doing a fucking combo. Just, I'm gonna wait and just spam headbutt and spam butt and then hopefully in the corner I get away with a jump that I can safely, you know, land from and you try to punish it then I get a giant combo in the corner. And that's it. Just playing laggy online. The guy sucks ass. Three star diamond ranking. And the guy is fucking trash. Modern Honda. Cosmic Jaluba, the reason I play the game is because it's a modern fighter that I can associate with because I've played Street Fighter in the past. There are nights when I don't completely freak out over it, and there's nights when I do. Depends on the connection, depends on how I'm doing, depends on if my moves are fucking coming out. There's a million factors. But, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and talk about my entire history with Street Fighter and why this is a game that I can actually resonate with because I played it for so long. You know, uh, classic Street Fighter that is. But... You know, it's a competitive game. People want to see competitive games. They want to see variety. They don't want to just see me sit around playing single-player games all the time. This is the first competitive game I've played in many, many years in any kind of consistency, right? So, there's a reason why I play it. It's fun when it works. It's not fun when it doesn't. It's insanely frustrating when it doesn't work. It pisses me off. It heats me up. I get so heated when the game doesn't want to agree with me. It drops my moves left and right. All of a sudden, someone's spamming basic shit online. The game won't even react or block to it. I shit you not. That can that beat me point blank OD fireball. I was just holding back. And the game did not, wouldn't even register my block. And it's like, you know, it's about variety too. It's again, if I just sit around playing single player games 24 seven, people get bored. 
people liked the fact that I jumped into a competitive game for the first time in a million years. And yeah, it gets me frustrated because the game is bullshit a lot of the time. Or tonight, I've had a really bad string of luck this first hour of stuff dropping and stuff. And here I am trying to level up. And in the last hour, I've gained, what, 100 points? Something stupid like that? It's terrible. So hopefully the rest of tonight will be better. But, you know, there's a reason I play a variety of games. Is it's not just the same thing. It's not my, you know, don't want to just sit in a comfort zone, chill all the time. Okay. Um, so I got another tip. A $5 tip here. From Super Snow Carl Turbo HD Remix. Completely random with Sonic Superstars coming out. I think I'll play it on the Series X. I feel the Xbox controller has a D-pad that reminds me of the OG Sega Genesis controller. What are you playing it on? Uh, didn't think about it, but, you know, unless there's a reason to pick one over the other, like graphical performance or price, or is it on one of the online subscription services, I'll probably get it on Xbox. I do enjoy the game, the Xbox D-pad or the Xbox pad in general over the, the uh, PlayStation pad. As I said many times, this gen, I really do feel like the Xbox controller is just better than the PlayStation controller. <clears throat> so that's definitely what I, I would be going with, okay? All right, let's uh, split the part and like break for a minute. I'll stand up and relax and then we'll get back into it, okay? All right, splitting the part here, guys, and uh, I will, I'll take a small break here just to kind of stand up, stretch my legs. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling a little sick here tonight, Jade. That sucks. I hope you feel better. Okay. Ooh. I'm trying to stretch my hand out right now. Thank you, Chris. Chris says it was a great GTA stream today. Thank you. Too old for steak. Seriously, if you have to ask me that question, it means you don't understand. So there's no point in me explaining it to you. I mean, do you, do you really want to explain Fighting Games 101 and why these input readings and things mean absolutely nothing? And it doesn't matter if an FTC player cop, cop looks at it or not. It's purposefulness. It, it has no purpose. There's nothing, no purpose to it whatsoever. When you're playing an online fighting game, there's all these factors. There's the connection between you and the server. There's your actual controller you're using. There's you playing the game. There's a lot of factors, okay? People, well, why don't you go read your inputs online? There's no point because what the game says you input doesn't necessarily mean what you actually input. If the connection's bad, whatever it reads is not what you input. If your joystick's screwed up, whatever it reads is not what you input, you know? It's a one in three chance that looking at what the game says you input by read the input reader is correct because one out of three, you screwed up. Two out of three chances, it's the lag of the controller. So, it's completely pointless. The only reason you should be reading inputs is if you're in a situation where something happens and you just don't understand it. Like, how did that just happen? Then maybe if you read the inputs, you'll kind of understand what, what happened. But outside of that, there's literally zero reason to read those. None. They won't teach you anything. It, here's when input reading inputs is good. When you're playing offline. Because there's no online connectivity issue there so then you can say it's either me or the joystick and then you can go into training mode and lab and then you figure it out there's literally zero reason to check inputs when you're doing an online match it will never help you whatsoever it'll just, it's just a waste of time okay Too old for steak, I don't care. You realize I don't care. You re it's hilarious. He goes, but that goes against the FGC. Oh, you mean like the entire FGC that said Street Fighter V was a good game and then changed their minds when Street Fighter VI came out and told the truth? That FGC? I don't care what's about the fucking FGC. I'm not part of it. There's a good reason why. <laughs> Again, you. I'm going to tell you like it is, all right? Input reader is great for if you're just playing offline and it's reading what you're doing locally. If you're trying to read what happened between you and the server... It's worthless. You'll never, you'll never fucking figure anything out. It's a complete waste of everybody's time. <clears throat> but again, you know better than me, right? Because you've been playing fighting games since the early 90s. You used to run tournaments. You used to place in tournaments. You know better than me because you just listen to people from the FGC talking online. So you're smart, right? Okay. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you're, it's called gullible. It's called you're a sheep. You believe everything you're told. You loved Street Fighter V, didn't you?
You just love the people just standing here trying to be stupid, be contrary, right? <laughs> that is, I mean, yeah, input delay of the TV could be a factor, but input delay of the TV would be, for example, I see something, I go to do it, and the move is delayed. That's input delay of the TV. Not, oh, I'm in the middle of a combo, I'm doing exactly the same thing I've done a million times and it always worked, and now the combo stops hitting. That's different, that's completely different. See, there's there's different, that's another thing too. There's all these different factors when it comes into fighting games. If you're doing a move and you just, you do the input and nothing happens, something's very wrong. And that's happened quite a few times. You know, and it could be the net code. Absolutely, it could be. It could be the joystick. It could be me. Although sometimes you're hitting, you're hearing the noise of me pushing the joystick, and the move still doesn't come out, right? So I mean, <laughs> there's definitely been uh, some situations here that are incredibly questionable. You know, but I don't know. Is it the joystick? Is it the online connectivity? I have no clue. It could be either. Reading the inputs doesn't do anything. It won't answer the question. Okay. All right. We're going to resume now. Because I can't kill... I can't waste too much time. Because I've got about, you know, an hour and a half, hour 45 left tonight. Thank you to those who've supported so far. We still have a while to go. So if anyone else supports the stream tonight, thank you very, very much. I would really appreciate it. Anything appreciated. Whether it's a, you know, super chat, membership, gifted membership tip. Anything's great. Thank you, guys. Okay. Typically helps me more than anything.